YouTube, it's me, Natalie, and welcome back to my channel. I am back again with another wig review, and if you are new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for the support. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you guys think. Um, today, as you can tell by the title and the hair on my head, we're going to be doing a wig review on Kamaya, which is Outre, and it's from their Melted Hairline. I'm going to get into all the specs, but if you're interested to see everything about this wig and also how I put it on and got this look, stay tuned. Alright you guys, so I got my wig cap on, I'm ready to get this wig going. So here is the wig, it's the Melted Hairline. From Outre and I have her in the style Kamaya so that's her name um, this is what I cut it out already but this is what the card inside looks like and um, as you can see the model is slayed and it comes in a bunch of different special colors but I got the color uh, DRFF4 slash strawberry gold um, I've seen a couple reviews on this wig but I've never seen one in that color so I was interested to see like what that color is about and then plus the color on the model and the other color I wanted was sold out so I was like look we're gonna try something new so um again she's a lace front she's by Outre and according to the card um she does come with baby hairs they show them right here and then when I take the wig out I'll also show what the baby hairs look like and it's supposed to be a very natural hairline. So it's like the idea that it just like melts into your forehead or whatever. So it's pre-attached wide elastic band. Um, it's a trans HD, HD transparent lace. It's safe up to 400 degrees so you can put heat on it. And yeah, so that's all the specs. So I'm for the first time on camera, I'm gonna take her out. Okay, alright child, this is Kamaya. Um, as you can see, she's a lace front and they put heck of lace on her. Like, I don't understand the, the reasoning for all this lace in the front, but okay. Um, but the lace itself looks pretty thin. It actually looks pretty good against my skin color because I'm really light. Um, she's a strawberry blonde color and then I'm seeing in the front these almost like 613 face framing um little highlights so um i know the color is drff4 which is strawberry gold but they don't say anything about 613 but it's here in the front and then it's looking like the four is up here in the roots and then it kind of goes into this strawberry um gold strawberry blonde color which is cute i think it's a great like fall color Okay, I'll try. Come through with the colors. I mean, this is nice. So the inside is your standard cap, and they actually have an adjustable uh, headband added as well as adjustable straps for the extra extra support and security. Security. Um, it has two combs in the front and then one in the back. So you have two combs at your temple, one in the back. So I mean, she's secure. And I would say you have about this, this much lace right here. And then the hairline itself, as you can see, I think she looks pretty natural. And then um, I'm seeing baby hair. So this is some baby hairs right here. And you'll definitely need to probably cut down the baby hairs a little bit so that you can swoop them because they're actually pretty long but I think that's cool that they give you baby hairs so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut the lace I just cut around the hairline make sure you pull back the baby hairs you don't want to cut those off and um, then I will come right back when it is cut okay so I did want to show you guys that I actually uh, changed my wig cap to a black one and I cut off all the lace Look how much lace was on it. Like, this is the most lace I've ever cut off an outre wig. So there's going to be a lot of lace to cut off. But once you cut off the lace, um, I'm actually going to go in underneath the wig cap. 
So, and then I'm going to take my uh, pressed powder. So a powder that, you know, usually you use to set your face, that's your skin tone color. Um, and I'm going to brush that on the inside. I know a lot of people use like um, Fit Me by Maybelline. Um, so whatever you have. So I'm just taking that and I'm putting it on the inside. Just adding that extra color in there. All right, so now that that's in the inside, now I'm going to put this baby on my head and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so without me doing anything to her, I literally just put the makeup inside, plopped her on my head. This is what she looks like. Um, so this is what the lace looks like, the front. Mind you, I haven't done anything to it. Um, I haven't, you know, put down baby hairs. I haven't put makeup in the part, nothing. Um, this is why I did change my wig cap to black because I feel like when it was the nude one I had on, you could see where my hairline was starting. So I think it just looks better with the black. She's pretty long. She comes right here to my boobs. Um, she has these nice layers in it. She's definitely a middle part, um, but she got body. I mean, she feels thick. Baby girl, thick. Come on, it thick. She doesn't feel thin. Um, I'm not getting any shedding. And I think so far she looks good. So what I'm actually going to do, because I've seen a lot of people do this, is that, so I have her on tight. So I could actually like get away without gelling anything down. But um, as you can see, my sides would kind of just be like, flopping up everywhere so if you plan on you know kind of having like a pulled back look or whatever or you know the wind's blowing you're gonna want to glue her down for sure um, I'm only gonna glue her down a little bit so I'm taking some of my got to be glue and I'm gonna apply this around my hairline where I want her to stick So while I let that gel on my edges sit for a little bit, I'm actually taking my like hot wand and I'm just going to press it down up here, add some heat so it's not humpy. So I'm going to go in and find the baby hairs. So here okay guys so I'm taking my Murray's edge wax and with the baby hairs I just cut I'm swooping them and I am Creating my baby hairs. Okay, so I just swooped some little baby hairs on the front, and I'm actually gonna take my Got to Be Glued Blasting Free Spray, and I'm gonna hit just my edge. All right, y'all, so let me just say, I think Altre came through with Kamaya. I think Kamaya is super pretty, like just starting from the color, I think the color of her, I've never had a strawberry blonde wig, I don't think, and I think this is really cute. Uh, the lace itself, I think it's great. It's super flat, 
Um, I, you know, I hit her, I hit her with the little hot thing I had, little hot comb or whatever. Um, and she lays really flat. I think the lace is super HD. Um, I think it's great lace. And then once you put your powder in it, it's definitely believable. Um, I'm not a pro at the baby hairs, but I think I did a pretty good job. I mean, some of you out there could probably do better with the baby hairs, but it's cool. Um, it works. I will get better as you know, I keep practicing. <laughs> But I think she's super cute. I definitely would recommend Kamaya. I think she's she's like in between. So she's not your super beginner wig. So she's not a wig that you could just slap on and go. You do have to, you know, do some manipulating. There's some baby hairs you want to lay down. Um, you know, if you want to do some gluing for more support, because the lace is a lot thinner. But she's not a hard wig, hard wig either. So she's like an in-between, but still beginner friendly wig. I think she's great. I think anyone can, you know, definitely pull her off. Um, it's just some simple steps of cutting the cutting the lace, putting it on your head, putting some makeup in the part, getting some, you know, either freeze glue or some gel um, to hold, hold the lace down or even to swoop your baby hairs. I mean, she cute or whatever. So let me know what you guys think. Um, here's the back. Um, here's her, if I was to put her all to one side, this is what she's looking like. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you like Kamaya, if you think I did a good job, comment down below, hit that subscribe button, and thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next wig review. Peace.